Hi everyone, we're going to start the unit Healthy Living. Um, we already did the introduction to the unit when we were at school. Okay, so we already saw the... We, we already saw... We already saw... Uh, let me see... We already saw the story of Gertrude Elian. Okay, and we did the introduction with these questions. Remember that helped us introduce the unit. Okay, so we're going to go directly into healthy eating, okay, and the factors that are important in, in this uh, sense. What This is how we are going to work. I'm going to play uh, the audio, okay, I'm going to play it for you guys so that we c you can read while you listen to the audio, and then we are going to underline those important parts that we can find in the page. Um, it's the same as we do in school. Okay, but instead of me being there with you, I'm right here, and I'll help you the same way that I can help in, in school. Um, <coughs> so let's get to it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm going to make it a, the text a little bit bigger so that it's easier for you guys to see. Okay, and I think that's pretty okay. Here we go. I'm going to start with the, with the audio and then I'll stop it and we'll underline. Unit 2, page 24. Healthy eating. An important way to stay healthy is to eat well. A balanced diet consists of eating the correct amount from each food group every day. Okay, so from this first paragraph, what do you think is the important part? Um, that's right. An important the, the important words that we can find is that to stay healthy, we have to eat well. And what does eating well mean? Eating, yes, eating, putting, food, consuming food. Okay. <coughs> what does that, what does this mean? That we have to have a balanced diet. We have to have a balanced diet. In these two words, you also have that the important, the, the meaning of this is that you have to eat the correct amount from each food group, okay? We have to eat the, the correct amount from each food group. What, what do, does this mean? That we have to eat a lot of the things that are good for us and just a little of those things that can be a, that can be harmful that can we that can get us sick okay now we're going to continue with the audio in which they explain to us the different fruit, food groups in our food wheel we are going to listen to group number 1 fruits and vegetables as i and as you can see in the picture right beside it is the big one of the biggest ones okay number 1 and number 2 are the two biggest groups that we have to uh, consume or that the, the amounts are bigger than the rest of the fruit groups. So I'm going to continue with the audio and we'll then underline group number one. One, fruit and vegetables give you lots of vitamins and minerals to keep you healthy. They are full of antioxidants which protect your cells and fight off cancer. They also contain fiber, which helps the digestive system stay healthy. Okay, so what's the name of the group? this group? Group number one is fruits and vegetables. Okay, you can see in the picture different fruits like the pineapple, the strawberry, or the lemon, or the blueberries. Okay, and vegetables. Okay, in the picture we have asparagus, we have broccoli, uh, a pepper, and we have some onion. Okay, so now you know what fruits and vegetables are. But they also give us two very important uh, pieces of information. The first one is that the fruits give us, they provide us, they give us vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and fiber. That's what they give us. That's what they provide us. Okay? That's what they have in them that is good for us. And now I'm going to show you and now I'm going to show you what 
um, the, what what we use them for, what our body uses them for. For okay, so vitamins and minerals, our body used to keep you healthy to keep you healthy how they protect you your immune system you know for example what did they tell you uh, when you're a little when you're with a cough or you're not feeling very well you have a little bit of a flu or a cold they tell you that you have to have vitamin c and what fruit provides a lot of vitamin c that's right the oranges okay so what do fruits and vegetables do for us? Help our immune system, okay, and our cells to stay healthy. Um, they also contain fiber. And fiber, what, do th what does fiber help us with? With our digestive system. It helps our digestive system work properly and stay healthy. Okay, as you can see, again, as you can see in the wheel right beside it, as you can see in the wheel right beside it, we have to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables every day. Let's go to group number two. Two. Bread, pasta, cereals, and potatoes contain fiber and carbohydrates. Carbohydrates provide your body with long-lasting energy. Here we go. So group number two. As you can see in the picture, there is a, that's a very big group as well. We have to consume, we have to eat a lot of things from this group. Now, bread, pasta, cereals, and potatoes. Okay, so here we go. Bread, pasta, cereals, and potatoes. What do they contain? What do bread, pasta, cereals, and potatoes contain? They contain fiber and carbohydrate. Fiber, it helps us with the digestive system. That's right, as we said this, we said this with the fruit and the vegetables. And carbohydrate, what does carbohydrate give us? Long lasting energy, energy to be able to do things, to be able to study every day, to be able to exercise, okay? So we're going to listen now to group number three. Group number three, are you ready? Here we go. Three, olive oil, seeds, avocados, and nuts contain healthy fats and oils, which can help lower cholesterol and improve blood circulation. They also provide lots of energy. Okay, so here we go. Group number three, as you can see, it's one of it's the smallest group of all. Okay, we can, we don't we cannot eat a lot of this group. Okay, and but, and, and also thinking that these uh, fats and oils are uh, healthy ones. Okay, so what do olive oil? Where is the olive oil? It's right here. Seeds. You know what seeds are, right? Um, uh, sun sunflower seeds. Yeah, do it like that. Um, uh, I can think of sesame seeds as well. Um, you, we also have avocados right here. Nuts like like uh, whole nuts or um, uh, cashew nuts, okay? And olives, right? We have the olives right here that are part of the olive oil. And what do they contain? What do they give us? Why? What? Do, what? What do these things give us? Well, right here. It gives us healthy fats and oils, okay? And um, what do these fats do for us? What do they provide us with? Well, if they give us, they provide us with, they help us with the, to lower the cholesterol, okay, and the blood circulation, and they also give us a lot of energy, okay? So, that's group number three. Let's go to group number four. Four, meats, poultry, fish, eggs, and pulses contain proteins which help your body build and repair muscles and organs. They also have iron, which helps your body transport oxygen. Five. Okay, so here we go. In this group, you're going to find two words that are difficult, that you might not know. Meats. Well, that's easy, right here, the meat, right? Like uh, beef or uh, 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 pig, okay? 
poultry. Okay, poultry is right here. Chicken. Okay, chicken is part of the poultry. Okay, fish, that's easy. You have them right here. Eggs, that's also an easy word. And pulses. This is another word that you might not know. Okay, pulses are right here. Like the beans or the garbanzos or uh, chickpeas in English. Okay, or lentils. Okay, what do they give us? What, do th what does this group provide us? It gives us proteins, proteins. And what do proteins help us with? What do proteins help us with? They, it help us to build and repair, repair our muscles and organs, okay? Uh, and they also have a lot of iron, okay? I forgot about that one. So let me change the color. It gives us iron. And what does the iron do? It help us transport oxygen around our body. Remember when we saw the circulatory system and that the blood goes everywhere around our body? Well, this is this helps the blood move around our body. And we're going to listen to group number five. Group number five. Dairy products contain protein and calcium, which is good for healthy bones and teeth. So, here we go. The last group, group number five, the dairy products. Um, these you might know you do, you might know not know what this word mean, means either. Dairy products are like, for example, yogurts or milk or cheese. Okay, what do they give us? What do they these dairy products give us? Okay, they give us protein and calcium. And what do they help us with? What do they help us with? Well, they help us with with the bones and teeth, with the bones and teeth, okay? Now, let's look at the last part that we have. Okay, let me change this, let me close this up. No, cancel, cancel, we don't want to close it up. Okay, no, 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 we don't want that either. Let's look at the last part that we have right here on the bottom, okay? That talks about what happens if you don't eat healthy food, Okay, what happens if you don't eat healthy food? I the audio. Okay, here we go. Unit 2, page 24. What happens if you eat unhealthy food? If you do not eat a balanced diet, your body can suffer. Eating too much sugar can cause obesity and is bad for your teeth. Having too much salt in your diet can give you high blood pressure which is bad for your heart. Okay, here we go. So, if you do not have a balanced diet, your body can suffer. Okay? Suffer. Body can suffer. Too much sugar, for example, too much sugar can cause obesity. Okay? And your teeth to get sick, your, to get bad, okay? And it's bad for your teeth. Um... Another example, if you have too much salt in your diet, salt, you know what that salt, what salt is, you, you can have high blood pressure, uh, which, is, which is also bad for your heart. Okay, so what we have we learned today, that we have to have a balanced diet. Now it's your turn, guys. Okay, now that we have looked at this, at this part of the unit, it's your turn. You have to search online for uh, the food pyramid, okay, and create your own piece of paper. Um, I hope this video has been helpful, and I'll see you next class. Bye-bye.